What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and today we are looking at the new and gorgeous Dark Base Pro 900 tower from Be Quiet. This is an extremely well built and high end tower that supports all motherboard sizes. In addition to that, the entire motherboard tray can be repositioned vertically in three different heights which is incredibly convenient. If you're trying to install a radiator on top of the case but the motherboard heatsink gets in the way, then you can simply lower the board and make room for it. And by the way, this actually happened during my build. It doesn't even stop there. This case is very versatile, having completely modular parts. Both hard drive and optical drive cages, side ventilation, power supply mount, and even the motherboard tray can be fully inverted for those that want their PCs on the left side of their desk. I really like how Be Quiet made everything so easy to move around. There's really nothing complicated about moving the parts. For example, the motherboard tray is hooked up from the three screws in the front and the other six in the back. Once they are off, you can flip it upside down and move it to the other side and you are basically done. The tempered glass side panel can also be swapped to the other side, so don't worry because you will still be able to look inside your case on either side. The case does come with 7 hard drive cages that can fit 2 SSDs in each tray for a total of 14 SSDs or 7 hard drives. There's also an extra SSD cage in the back if you decide to go solo or plan to remove all the cages for some more space. Much like the motherboard tray, these can also be inverted and installed in two different positions to accommodate all sorts of water cooling configurations. Be Quiet is also kind enough to include an LCS bracket for mounting water pumps or something similar. Although I do like the modularity of the hard drive cages, I much prefer a more simpler approach that doesn't involve any screws, more like the snap-on hard drive trays I've seen from other cases. Although that will go against the modularity design that Be Quiet was going for. Aesthetically, this is one giant and beautiful case, no doubt. The side window is made of 4mm tinted tempered glass and it's being held up by 4 thumb screws located in each corner. The rest of the frame is constructed out of high quality aluminum and ABS material. It doesn't look like Be Quiet has cut any corners with this case, then again with a price tag of $249, there better not be. The color scheme is also fairly neutral, majority of it being black with silver accents. Now depending on what color you guys go with, the grommets will be in that same color as well. And right now there are three different color combinations, silver, orange and all black. Taking a look at the front of the case, you will find a set of IO ports, two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 along with your usual headphone and microphone jacks. Opening up the front panel gives you access to the front fan dust filter as well as the bottom filter. You also have access to the fan controller. With this switch, you have the option to set two modes of operation, either control the speed of the fans manually or automatically. There's also a button right next to the switch that controls the LEDs of the case. Be Quiet was also nice enough to include two sets of LED strips. Pressing the button will change the color of the LEDs to either white, red, green, blue, orange, or simply leaving them off. Now for those who are still living in the stone age, you do get two optical bays for your DVD or CD drives. However, if you're like me and want to install a motherboard accessory that has a knob or something similar that's sticking out, then you would be disappointed to find that the door will not close completely. I wish Be Quiet would have given alternate mounting options for these scenarios. And finally, on the top of the case, right above the IO ports, you will find a Qi wireless charging dock. That's right guys, you can now charge your smartphone by setting it on top of your PC tower. You have to have a smartphone that's capable of wireless charging though. The case also has excellent noise insulation due to the sound insulating foams that covers most parts of the chassis. Surprisingly, the parts stay cool as well, and that's because of their full circuit airflow system. There are basically vents that run along the frame and other parts of the case that provide excellent airflow. The side opposite of the tempered glass has a 2-in-1 side panel, meaning that you can keep it closed for maximum silence, partly open it for more intake, or remove the entire panel with the option of installing two additional fans. During idle, my CPU would hover around 32 degrees, while my GPU stays at a constant 38 degrees, and during full load, I would get temps of 52 and 74 for both the CPU and GPU respectively. Here's a quick sound test during idle and load. Aside from the three 140mm silent wings fans that come equipped with the tower, you also get loads of options for cooling whether you are going with a custom loop or an AIO cooler. 
A few additional things I like about this case are the add-ons of the fan hub in the back and cable management space provided for the wires. I really like the distance between the side panel and the motherboard tray. There's plenty of space to work with that won't interfere with the side panel door. The extra space behind the power supply is also nice since I can keep bulk of the wires there away from sight. However, I personally would have loved to see a PSU cover or a shield of some sort that will block out majority of the power supply cables on the bottom. After all, this case has a full glass side panel and the sight of any cables is anything but pleasing. I also noticed that all the grommets got partially blocked by my extended motherboard which made some parts of the cable management challenging. Thankfully, Be Quiet included a hard drive panel rubber grommet which I used for the 24 pin connector. Overall, the Darkbase Pro 900 is a well-built, extremely versatile and aesthetically pleasing tower. With fully modular parts, sound insulating foam and lots of space to work with, you can pretty much build anything you can dream of while maintaining a cool and quiet PC. Honestly, if you're not going to build a high-end PC with at least a 2-way SLI or crossfire or even add a custom loop in here, then honestly this case would be overkill for you. And I would suggest looking at the Silent Base 800 instead if you want a good looking silent PC build. But that will do it for the video, I'll drop a link to the case down below if you guys want to check that out. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and as always, I will see you in the next video.